Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. And today we've got a very special PayPal request for Adam Wallace. I'm gonna read it out. <laughs> Video quality kind of sucks, but, and then he's got the link. By the way, I'm a guitar player, but I dig your videos. Hey. Thank you so much, Adam. And uh, you know what? I got the shock of my life when I opened up the link because he didn't even mention who the drummer was. Open up the link. It just happens to be one of my favorite drummers, John Blackwell Jr. We're not worthy! I'm guessing I, a lot of you won't know who John Blackwell Jr. is because I don't believe he's ever been requested in the comments. And man, what a monster of a player. Died far too young quite recently. We have a little bit of info for you. John Blackwell Jr. Uh, he died age 43 in 2017. Far too young. Devastating. American contemporary R&B, funk, jazz, fusion and pop drummer. Best known for his work with Prince. Later, he was a member of D'Angelo's backing band, The Vanguard. I mean, right there, D'Angelo and Prince. That's kind of the top of the tree for that kind of world. Blackwell was born and raised in Columbia, South Carolina and started playing drums at age three. He learned from his father, John Blackwell Sr., a drummer himself who played with Mary Wells, King Curtis, Joe Simon, JJ Jackson, The Drifters, The Spinners and others. Big names. Blackwell stated that he experienced synesthesia since he was a child, seen colors for musical notes and was identified as having perfect pitch while in high school. As a teenager, Blackwell played in both his high school jazz band and marching bands. He began playing in jazz clubs at age 13. At 17, he landed his first professional gig backing jazz singer and band leader Billy Eckstein. After high school, he attended Berklee College of Music and worked steadily in local Boston jazz clubs. He left Berklee in 1995 to play with the funk band Cameo, a gig which lasted for three years. Cameo, <laughs> love Cameo. Blackwell moved to Los Angeles in 1998 to look for more drumming work and got a job playing with Patti LaBelle for three years. These are long stints. He appeared on her 1998 album Live One Night Only, which won the Grammy Award for Best Traditional R&B Performance. Blackwell met Prince while performing with LaBelle in Minneapolis. Blackwell toured with Japanese singer Hikaru Utada and then joined Prince's band The New Power Generation in September 2000. Uh, just a couple of other little things. Blackwell performed with Justin Timberlake on the Future Sex Love Show Tour. He also played with Crystal K, P. Diddy and Charlie Singleton. Blackwell played at the 2008 Buddy Rich Memorial Concert. Legendary drummer and I've mentioned before on this channel how I'm often quite surprised at the lack of what I would call the super drummers who get requested on this channel. What I mean by super drummer, everyone on the channel is awesome, amazing, don't get me wrong, but there's certainly like the concept of the super drummer. I think of guys, you know, the, the cover of Modern Drummer, the guys who I used to see, it's just sort of the Zildjian Day videos and that kind of thing who I consider the super drummers playing for multiple artists, recording album after album and just popping up everywhere and just killing it night after night. And John Blackwell Jr. is one of those um, RIP. Oh boy, this guy is something in a really, really unique style. Let's check it out. Oh, that sound. Plain open hand here, he didn't always. He's playing the overdub bombard on the right hand. Well, I knew this dude, it was very cool, just the rule, till he went to school. Not a normal school that breeds a fool, but one of the best teachers been on the road to rule. Showman Everyone 
magical. going to leave this running look what auto played um right after the video john blackwell playing on uh dromeo man that's the kind of thing i got these goosebumps after watching that first um jonathan moffat video it's just oh, man it's just spiritual some drummers they just hit your hair and John Blackwell Jr. is one of those guys. I mean, the pocket is ridiculous. The tone, the sound he gets out of that drum kit. Like, there's a very common misconception. You could think, well, that's a great drum kit. I'll get that drum kit. It doesn't work like that. It sounds like that because of who's playing it. I could sit on that drum kit. It's not going to sound like that going to sound like that because of the authority and the way he hits it literally the way he hits it the the angle the the velocity of the stick the uh the way he's catching those rim shots his sound is so crisp and defined and tight but not stiff it's all it's it's loose it's loose within the groove but it's just in the pocket it's hard to explain what is so magical about this but i mean you can hear what's magical about it it's hard to describe it. It's hard to capture it. And, you know, it's really fitting that this has come up. You know, this Dromeo video is auto-played after it. Because you, as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a free 30-day trial with Dromeo. Link in the description. Click on it. 
check out the site. If you don't like it, that's all good. It's, it's, you, don't, you don't have to do anything. You just try it out. It's well worth a check out. And you can, you know, watch amazing stuff like this. Plenty of Dromeo stuff is on YouTube. Heaps is not. So uh, check it out. You'll love it. Yeah, I mean, what a special, special player. Obviously, you're going to be fantastic playing for guys like D'Angelo, Cameo, uh, Prince, you know. Those guys don't muck around. Prince, a fantastic drummer himself, who recorded a lot of the drums on his songs. So he is going to be brutal when it comes to uh, drummers. And, you know, he's going to be searching high and wide. And to get that gig, you've got to be absolutely outstanding. Ah, I just don't even know. Where do you even begin? It's like he's such a showstopper with the sticks flying. I mean, he was just throwing the sticks in the end and just smashing cymbals with his hands. Just like that thing of just all out, like this is like the last song I'm ever going to play in my life. That kind of attitude. Uh, Yeah, that pick was a real surprise for me, man. And, um, you know, I hadn't actually listened to John Blackwell Jr. for a while. And I'd certainly never seen that clip. Looks like he was playing on an Australian TV show or something. Man, you forget how good some of these dudes are or were. Um, John Blackwell Jr., RIP. Very, very sad. Taken far too soon. Absolute legend of drumming. Guys, remember if you did enjoy this video, please show your support by subscribing and hitting the like button. And uh, hit me in the comments with any suggestions. Um, Has anyone got any more John Blackwell Jr. videos that I could check out, perhaps? Uh, Yeah, wow. Until next time, ciao.